Hi, this is Larry DeVizio. I'm in Upper Michigan. And I wanted to do something on water filters and water purifiers. Now, first off, there is a difference. And some people don't understand it. You have items like the SteriPen, which uses ultraviolet light. It purifies the water for 99.9% .9 of the pathogens that could be in it. Giardia, Cryptosporidium. The same is true with the first need, which is what I normally carry, but this is changing. The first need's a fantastic filter. It will, none of the hoses are hooked on right at the moment, right there, the first need and the SteriPen will also eliminate viruses in your water, which can and cannot be a problem. Viruses are a big problem in third world nations, not so much in North America. The SteriPen, which uses, like I said, ultraviolet light, is about as simple as it gets. It's a UV light unit that doses the water with sufficient uh, ultraviolet light to disrupt the DNA in the cells so they won't reproduce. So, in other words, it kills them. The unit I'm using, the SteriPen Opti, also comes with a very neat solar charger. And it uses, obviously, rechargeable batteries. Has a nice, your battery goes here, your SteriPen can go here. Has a clip on the back for hooking to your backpack. So it's a wonderful unit. It will do about everything you need, except in northern Michigan, up near uh, Isle Royale, there are tapeworm cysts in the water. SteriPen will not remove the tapeworm cysts. They will also not kill them. They haven't done the research on it because they'd have to do animal testing and they don't feel that's really proper. So everything except tapeworm cysts. And even on Isle Royale, they will tell you only use filters like the first need or one that is becoming one of my favorites right now is the MSR Hyperflow comes in a great little zipper compartment which I opened the wrong side okay. it is extremely lightweight was eight ounces very compact comes with the cool little uh, pre-filter which you can use it to wrap the hoses up and that's it right there we're going to get into how to use these in a minute and then the one that I know I will love when I'm doing base camp in the back country the platypus the gravity works and it works exactly as the name states with gravity. You have a dirty water bag, a filter, a clean water bag. The two filters here, the Hyperflow and the Gravity, they will filter everything out except viruses. So again, water purifiers such as the First Need and the SteriPen Destroy everything, including viruses. The first need will take out any cysts that are in the water, as far as tapeworm. The SteriPen will not destroy those. The Gravity Works and the Hyperflow, they will remove all the cysts in the water and pathogens, except for viruses. Okay. Now I want to get to actually using the devices. water purifiers. The easiest one to use is by far the SteriPen. One of the additional items that they have that I got is a pre-filter that goes on your bottle. Obviously, you always want to filter the cleanest water possible. Filter it or boil it, whatever you're going to do. You don't want a lot of particulate matter in it. With the pre-filter, obviously filters it prior to going in to the whoop bottle. It's simple enough that 
You just you got your water it in bottle there. filled with the water you want to purify. You press and release the activation button. You then get a flashing LED here and glowing, uh, flashing green. Goes in the water. You have 15 seconds to do this. Thing. You are now exposing it to UV light. It takes 90 seconds, approximately, for one liter of water. You want to stir it up so that way you incorporate all the droplets into the flow of water going past the UV. This will, the UV light source in it, will actually purify up to 8,000 liters of water before it has to be replaced. That doesn't mean it's going to burn out, but just the element's uh, ability to generate UV light is diminished over time and usage. If it were nighttime, which I've done this and it looks very cool, you could see it glowing blue in there. I get fairly uh, violent here with the stirring. Now, one thing is, if it comes out of the water, you get an indicator, a red indicator, that tells you you need to redo it. I had somebody tell me recently that a friend of theirs, the water was so bad they had to treat it four times before it actually said it was successful. Uh, she treated it four times because she was treating it four times the wrong way. She took the uh, probe out of the water. This does not analyze the water. It merely exposes it for a predetermined amount of time. There you go, I got a green flashing light. Now, what you do want to do, to be sure, and excuse my slobness, is you want to dry the threads on the bottle to remove as much as humanly possible. I think, personally, rinsing them off also is not a bad thought. 90, 90 seconds, clean water. Okay, on to the first need, the long time filter out there that has served me extremely well all over the state and actually all over the country. Very simple, it's a closed silt system on the filter. You screw your bottle on. You have your pre-filter here on a float so that way it can get in the water. And it's as simple as pump it. So it takes about a minute to fill the water bottle. You adjust your float so that way the inlet stays above the bottom. You don't get in all the silt in. The pre-filter filters it pretty well, but you can run into a problem. So it takes about 90 strokes or so. A minute, a minute and a half filter. I know they say that's faster, but it really all depends upon how long you've used the filter, how clean it is. You can also reverse the filter on here and back flush it out, which is a really great idea. You probably do that. I do that about every other day when I'm out because I really don't want a clogged filter. If the water is very silty, I will then get a pot, scoop the water out, or use that pre-filter. There we go. I'm done. And That's it, but I'll use a pot to uh, get water in it and let the silt settle out. Clean water, carbon filter, removes any bad tastes. Also removes all pathogens, including viruses. And that's certified by the EPA. So it really does do it. Great filter, weighs about a pound. That's the only thing. The SteriPen, eight ounces. This filter, a pound, but it removes everything. If you were on Al Royale, where you have the tapeworm problem with the uh, tapeworm cysts, then the first need, if you're really paranoid about the viruses, is the way to go. Okay, the MSR Hyperflow, a very cool filter. First off, it comes with a its own little cap here that locks on, so that way you can put the filter on it. It's a great 
really well thought out system. That cap I just took off, that's the clean water outlet. It also protects it from contamination. There we go, whole system. Great pre-filter, large area. It will float. Now, as you can see, we've got a stream flowing here. And you pump this thing and they call it hyperflow and they are not kidding. It takes maybe, what, 30 seconds or so to fill a liter. Extremely fast, very efficient, filters as well as the first need, except again, no viruses. And I am about done. I am done. Take it off. With all your filters, uh, always pump out the remaining water out of it. Take your cap, lock it on, it's now clean. Fold it up, you're done. You can leave that cap on the bottle if you really want. I would just remove it. First put this on here, protect it from any bad critters out there. Clean water. And it's cold. Okay, on to the last, and what will surely become probably my favorite, because my wife and I like hiking in, setting up a base camp, and then doing eight day hikes. When you're in a situation like that, water can be problematic in that if you're, you know, any distance from a lake, you have to hoof down there, fill up your water bottles, come back. It'd be really nice to be able to bring a gallon or so up. Well, with the platypus gravity works, you can. It's like two giant IV bags you see in the hospital. Dirty. Now let's get to this right way. Dirty and clean. And this is as simple as it is to use. You have a quick connect on here. You squeeze it. You pop off your hose. I could have brought all this down. I could have brought just the dirty water bag. But I chose to bring the whole unit. Take your water bag. It's got like a zip opening on it. Now, I've got waterproof boots on. They're totally insane. And you fill the bag. felt filled water bags, you know that it takes a little bit more than just dipping it in because the water pressure will close the bag up. So using a pot probably would be a really good idea. Okay, we're stopping right there. Zip it shut. And now, back up the cam. Now, this is the cool thing about the gravity feed. You can see here, it's got this. I can see the sediment in the bottom here. So that's going to settle out. And the perfect thing about being in land of the pine trees, lots of things to hold, hang stuff on. Clean, dirty. You squeeze the opening, the fitting here, it locks in. And guess what? I'm done. It is now filtering water.
As long as this is above there, it's going to flow. And check this out. It's filtering. I don't know what the rated speed on it is. I'll double check it. But it's filtering at a, very, a relatively high rate of speed here. We're about half a liter in. And it's just flowing on down. So I could fill up that container, and I would use a pot just to be able to fill it up all the way to the top. Bring it up, hang it up, and I'm done. If I needed water quick, well, I've got about a liter here now. It's just coming up to the liter mark. And you got the first need, which is a purifier, along with the stereopet. The first need removes everything, including viruses. Has a carbon core, removes bad taste, removes chemicals. The stereopet is also a purifier, but it removes nothing. It kills the pathogens. Everything except, as I said, tapeworm cysts. There was debate on it, but if you were in an area with tapeworm cysts in the water, like Isle Royale, you need a filter. But the SteriPen, you can have it in your pocket, weighs eight ounces. You can be out for a day hike. The water bottle's empty, you're in an area like this, fill it up, zap it, you're good to go. Now you have the two water filters, the platypus, gravity flow which is going on right here and the MSR hyperflow the hyperflow filters water faster than I've ever seen very good system lightweight field maintainable you can fl back flush the cartridge you can check it for leaks very nice weighs eight ounces a very complete system, extremely well thought out, well worth the money. The platypus has, in about two minutes, finished filtering two liters of water, and all I had to do was fill a bag. It has the same filtering element as the hyperflow. So it removes everything, again, except viruses. A perfect base camp filter. One of the nice things about the platypus is you're on the clean side here. You unplug it. You have this clamp, which I have closed now. But you open her up, you've got flowing water. Close her on down. So, four great devices. Two of them purifiers, two of them filters. You cannot go wrong in North America with any of these. And I have to tell you that MSR Hyperflow is going to be in my pack a whole lot more. And so is the SteriPen. Because between the two of those, I can take care of anything that could possibly exist in that water. Hey, thanks for watching. It's Larry DeVizio. I go out and have some fun in the outdoors. Enjoy our beautiful fall weather.